Hi everyone, I'm Anne from Anne Makes. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my studio. The other day, um, during one of my Canadian Dollar Store haul uh, videos, I mentioned that I had made a new embellishment organizer uh, for my studio and I I was kind of hesitant saying that I actually made it because it's actually something that I put together from it's that I altered other pieces and put it together to make this and um, I had shown you that I had shown my viewers that I had purchased these little spice jars from uh, Dollarama and they come in three of these glass spice jars in a box like this for a dollar fifty Canadian. So I asked if some if people wanted to see what I was talking about, and I had some viewers request that I show them my embellishment organizer, my new embellishment organizer. So here it is. This is my new embellishment organizer uh, that does a spin. It is on a spin, it, this part here spins and it's on top of another spinning system that I have. So uh, it, it spins twice. <laughs> so uh, what this is, and I will uh, bring the camera a little closer so you can see better uh, what I'm talking about. Okay, so I hope I don't uh, shake the camera too much because I have it on this tripod and it's a little bit flimsy and it's kind of wobbly. Um, so this is the embellishment organizer I was talking about. Now, um, it will be hard for anybody to remake this because I pretty sure this is going to be a one of a kind thing unless you are like me and you keep stuff for over 20 years in the back of a cupboard because <laughs> this is uh this used to be a baby food jar organizer that's what it was sold as I actually did buy this at uh, a dollar store years and years and years ago when my my kids were still ki kids <laughs> and um it was intended to store little jars of baby food, but I actually found it after they had passed the stage of baby food, and uh, I just thought it was going to be a really cute way to organize things in my sewing room, because at the time I only had a sewing room, and I had a lot of empty jars of baby food, so that's what I was using. Um, and there's two of these. This one, it's three tier, three levels, okay? And then this one also one two three so I actually have six levels and I'll show you the top there's these indentations here just the right size for baby food jars or spice bottles spice jars they're just the right size and the height and this was a thing that I, I had to assemble. It came in a little kit, um, very hard plastic, very easy to break, but I was careful, I assembled it. Now, the thing is I had two. And when I moved into my new studio here a few months ago, I thought, I remembered I had this thing and I thought, I wonder if I could still use it. And I also had this bottom spinning tower. And I think this is an old CD tower. And I had bought this at the thrift store and I am using it for storing embellishments as well. I'm using all these tiny little plastic drawers. You may recognize some of these. I purchased these over the years from uh, various dollar stores. And these, I think these ones are still available at Dollar Tree. So, and they fit perfectly in here. So I have this rotating um, old CD tower that holds drawers of embellishments and on top of that I have my two former baby food jar organizers and what I did is to stack them on top of each other because each one of these comes on a lazy Susan type of thing so I was saying that each one of these systems comes on a lazy Susan and this is the piece that would be under this one here. Um, it That's what's under here. And this is the mechanism that 
this spins here. This there's little wheels here, and this enables the whole tower here, the white one, to spin. But I didn't need the spinning part for the second one. I took it off, it just snapped off very easily. And to put it together, what I did is I have to remove a few jars just to show you better what I did. So here's the first, here's the top one. Oh, my camera, not focusing. Here is the top one. Okay, one, two, three, that's one, one system. And the second system is here. One, two, three. Ooh, camera. Oh. And in the center, what I did is I had an old acrylic, it's acrylic, drinking glass. And it was cracked, but I had it holding uh, some clothespins. I know it sounds weird, but that's what I had. I had it holding clo some clothespins in the laundry room. And so I went and I grabbed it and I, I looked and I thought, this is the right size. So I used some uh, really good like contact cement glue, or you could also use E6000 or any type of like really good glue to glue plastic, the plastic basically. And that's what I did. I glued this acrylic glass to the top of this base and the bottom of that base there. <laughs> you can see, I'm so sorry. It's not the best camera angle, but so that's it. That's all I did. And the embellishments, all my embellishments are in various little jars that I have. A lot of these uh, I had gotten at Michael's over the years, different sets, different kits, and they just fit perfectly there. And now I have all these tiny embellishments. I have a lot of stuff in there, actually. I actually have a lot of stuff in there. And um, so as you can see, so I have, I'm trying to back up and as I'm backing up, I'm losing my light. Okay, focus. So I'm trying to get it to focus. So uh, you can see that's my entire tower there of embellishments. And that's it. So that's it for my embellishment tower that spins. Uh, it is comprised of two racks that I had bought at dollar stores years ago that were in the back of my cupboard, an old acrylic glass and a old uh, CD tower that spins and with the help of additional little plastic drawers from the dollar store, some spice jars also from the dollar store and other small jars, I have this tower of beautiful <laughs> embellishments. And that's it. That's all she wrote. And uh, I hope you this is helpful for you though. Maybe you could um, take the time to look at things that you may have around your home. You'd be surprised what we have stashed in our cupboards and closets and garages. And if you just take a different look at it and say, hmm, I wonder, try it, it might work. And if it doesn't work, well, you didn't lose any money, that's for sure, because you already had it, right? And you were probably gonna throw it out or give it away. So uh, that's it for today. I hope you found this useful. If you did, I would so appreciate a thumbs up. Please like, please comment, share, uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, take care of yourself, stay crafty, and I'll see you after my next video.